everyone. Today, we're going to learn about George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver was one of the most famous African Americans of his time, and we're going to learn all about him in this video. George Washington Carver was one of the most famous African Americans of his time. George Washington Carver was born in 1864 on a small farm in Diamond Grove, Missouri. And hey, guess what? Did you know that George Carver added Washington to his name because of Booker T. Washington? He helped him find a job of his actual dreams, and we'll learn more about this a bit later in this video. George's mother, Mary, was a slave owned by Moses and Susan Carver. Mary and George's sister were kidnapped by slave raiders who wanted to sell them to another slave owner. Fortunately, Moses Carver discovered George before he could get kidnapped and sold, but unfortunately not his mom or sister, and sadly, George never saw them again. And Moses and Susan Carver took care of George and his brother James as if they were their own children. Moses and Susan Carver helped them as well by teaching them to read and write. George worked on their farm and in their garden. George discovered that he was very interested in animals and plants and also enjoyed reading the Bible. Hey, guess what? Did you know that because George knew how to nurse sick plants back to life, his neighbors started to call George the plant doctor. When George was about 13, he left to attend school and worked very hard to get a good education. Sadly, there were no schools near his home for black children that he could attend. George would end up traveling around the Midwest in order to find a school he could attend. George eventually found and graduated from high school in Minneapolis, Kansas. At first, George believed he may want to be an artist. Then George decided to take some art classes at Simpson College in Iowa, where he really, really liked to draw plants. One of George's teachers suggested that he combine his love for science, art, and plants and study to become a botanist. A botanist is a scientist that studies plants. George Washington Carver continued to attend Iowa State Agricultural College, where he received a bachelor's degree in agricultural science in the year 1894. George Washington Carver was the first African American to receive a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Science. Then, in 1896, George Washington Carver received his Master of Science degree in Agricultural Science. It didn't take long for George Washington Carver to begin receiving lots of job offers. Hi, ready for the next fact? Yep. Okay. Booker T. Washington worked with Tuskegee Institute in Alabama to open an agricultural school. He offered a job to George and he accepted. He took it. That's right. George took the offer and worked as head of the agricultural department for the rest of his life. So what did George do when he worked there? George Washington Carver's research with peanuts, sweet potatoes, and soybeans grew. <laughs> no pun intended. George Washington Carver made agricultural improvements to help improve the lives of poor black farmers just like himself. In fact, George Washington Carver became known as the farmer's best friend in the South. George Washington Carver discovered hundreds of ways to use peanuts. You see, most farmers in the Deep South were only growing cotton. Unfortunately, the soil began to suffer 
and crops were not as healthy as they used to be. George had made the discovery that boll weevils, which are insects, were destroying cotton crops and found out that they did not like peanuts at all. So George Washington Carver suggested that farmers should also grow peanuts and sweet potatoes as he found they would restore the soil. He did this with the help of his mobile classroom, the Jessup Wagon. George Washington Carver brought his lessons to the farm workers that used to be slaves and educated as well as entertained them about agriculture and his ideas to help fix their crops. Over the years, George Washington Carver found hundreds and hundreds of uses for sweet potatoes and soybeans. In fact, he was such an expert that President Theodore Roosevelt and the United States Congress consulted with George Washington Carver on agricultural issues so that George could tell them what to do and why they should do it. To George Washington Carver, peanuts were tools to express his imagination. And he experimented with them to create lotions, flour, soaps, dyes, plastics, and even a type of fuel. Hey, guess what? Even though he loved and worked with peanuts, believe it or not, he did not invent peanut butter. Do you know who invented peanut butter? Who? The inventor of peanut butter. <clears throat> On January 5th in 1943, George Washington Carver died after falling down some stairs. But, as we've learned in this video, his contributions to the study of agriculture have not been forgotten. George Washington Carver became the first black scientist to be memorialized with a national monument. George Washington Carver's monument was put up near his birthplace in Diamond Grove, Missouri. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about George Washington Carver. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.